Hello, this is the seventh video in a series I'm calling uh, Transformations of Random Variables and here we're going to look at the product of uniform distributions or, and find the distribution of that. So if we let x1 and x2 be uniform from 1 to beta and we let y1 equal the product of x1 and x2 and we want to find uh, f of x1. Um, well, since we are transforming uh, from two, uh, you know, uh, two dimensions, our, you know, x1, x2, we need to, to use the variable technique or change the variable technique. We need to map it to R2 space. So we create a variable, uh, y2, that's easy to integrate out. And we, so we just let it be x2. And then when we back solve for x1 and x2, we get this. Then the Jacobian of this transformation is this. It's the uh, derivative of this respect to y1, that's this. Then this is the derivative with respect to y2. This is the derivative of x2 with respect to y1, and this is derivative of x2 with respect to y2. And they take the determinant, we get one over y squared. Now, uh, this right here, and I like to draw pictures of regions, because that way when we integrate out this second variable, we have a better idea of where we're integrating it out. Um, so here, x1 and x2 are independent from 1 to beta, and so the region is square. So what we do is we look at the borders, and then borders are mapped to borders over here. So in this case, uh, x1 is 1, and then x2 gets to re free range. So if x1 is 1, then then and x2 gets to range freely from 1 to beta, then y1 and y2 are the same. So this is a slope of 1. So this boundary goes to this boundary. And then you can do the same thing. The sec this boundary will be mapped to this. The third will be here. The fourth will be here. And and actually, the, uh, the area, you know, to go from here to here and the, uh, the distortion or the, you know, the shift, that's actually what the Jacobian uh, uh, makes up. That's what it tells us. Anyway, um, so the uh, f of x1, x2 is just 1 over beta minus 1 squared because they're independent, so it's the product of those two uniforms. And then to find the uh, f of y1 and y2, then we plug in these back transformations into our density, but there's nowhere to plug them in. So you just get it back times the absolute value of the Jacobian. And it, and since y2 um, is x2 and x2 is always positive, there's no need for absolute values here. And so uh, this, this ratio goes from one to beta and y2 goes from one to beta. So here's the, de the joint density. Now, we want to integrate out y2 um, so to leave y1, and, and here's y2 to integrate it out. You know, from 1 to beta, we're integrating it from the, this, these two functions. y2 equals 1 to y2 equal y1. And then over here, we're integrating it from, from these functions, which ends up being uh, beta and this is uh, y1 over beta. So we integrate this function over uh, for for from one to beta. We get this, and so the derivative of one over y squared or y2 dy2 is one, uh, you know, the log of y2. But then when we plug it in, we get this from this range. And then here again we get log of you know the antiderivative or the the yeah the antiderivative is log again and then you plug in the 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 limits here and we get this um, this can be uh, can be simplified. Since the log of a division is, you know, the, the the difference of the logs, and then that minus changes that to a plus, and that becomes two log beta. 
minus uh, log of y1. And again, this is from beta to beta squared. Um, and we're done. So this is the, this this is the density. So it's this between this range and this between this range. And to plot it um, here, this function looks like this. But it's only from one to beta, so we have to stop right there. And then this function looks like this and it keeps going up but we have to stop between beta and beta squared and so this is the graph of the density well that's all i have for today hope you enjoyed it if you did please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye